Hey YouTube, today we're going to be installing Windows 8.1 onto this HP NV Sleekbook. Uh, you may notice that this laptop does not have a DVD drive, so we're going to have to create a bootable flash drive. And the program that I use is Rufus 2.2. I'll put a link down in the video. Uh, so here's the problem I was having. Once uh, I created the bootable drive and I would run it, and when it gets to the screen of uh, selecting the drive to install the Windows on, it kept giving me an error saying that there is no partition and you have to look at some log. So what you want to do is to avoid that is first you click escape when the computer boots. You'll get into this menu. You're going to want to click F10. Go into the BIOS. Scroll over to system configuration. Scroll down to boot options. From here you're going to make sure that the legacy support is enabled and that the security boot is disabled. If it's grayed out that means because the legacy support is enabled. If that was disabled then you could disable the security boot. So anyways the main thing is that the legacy support is enabled on here. You're going to make sure down here that the USB is prioritized. F6 moves up, F5 moves it down. So you're going to want to do that in both legacy and UEFI boot. And then after that, you will press F10 to save. Yes. Right now, I'm going to stay on this page. Uh, I installed the solid state drive, so my booting is way, way faster. Uh, once you run Rufus, you want to make sure you have at least the 8 gig flash drive. Uh, these are the options you want to choose. You want to first make sure that you're under device, you're choosing the right flash drive. And under partition, uh, why I was getting that error is because I was choosing the, the, the default option that it was coming. But you want to change it to GBT partition scheme for UEFI. And you're going to want to make sure that you change the file system to FAT32. After that, you're going to press on this little disk on the right little guy right here and then you're gonna locate your ISO image of Windows 8.1 after you do that you're gonna click start and it's gonna give you a warning of making sure that you backed up everything from your flash drive because it will erase everything off of it and it will just put this ISO image on there and make it bootable so after this finishes once the process is done, it will say ready and it doesn't hurt to go down in the bottom right corner and eject the flash drive so there are no corrupted files. You don't have to do it, but if you do, it doesn't hurt. Let it boot from the flash drive. You, you come down to this screen, install now. Now we are hoping we do not get that error now. Uh, it's going to ask for a key. I'll provide a key that I found online for Windows 8.1. Once you type in the key, you can go ahead and press Next. After this page, you want to accept. Press Next. Press the second option, Advanced you will see a bunch of uh, partitions and whatnot. You can go ahead and delete all of them if you have this many. I don't know why there are so many. Go ahead. Once it's all one, you can press next. Now it shouldn't give you that error anymore and voila, it is now installing Windows 8.1 onto my solid state drive. Hope this helps guys. There is another method if this way does not work. Uh, if this is installing Windows for you now, you can stop watching or keep watching for the way through command prompt. Alright, so this is the other method in case that first one does not work for you. This is through command prompt through the Windows 8. Uh, once, obviously, keep those options in the BIOS the same. Uh, still have your bootable flash drive. You have it hooked up. And when it boots from Windows 8, when you're on the screen, you're going to scroll down to repair your computer. 
you're going to click on troubleshoot advanced options and then you're going to click command prompt once you're on command prompt you're going to want to type in disk part <clears throat> disk part enter it's now in disk part now you're going to type in list disk enter it will show you the drives see I'm trying to install this Windows onto that first disk because it's 119 gigabytes and then I have 128 gigabytes solid state or it's 120 gig uh, anyways then you're gonna click on select you're gonna type select disk and whichever disk number that is since I want to do on the first one I'm gonna type in zero enter now it's selected after that I'm gonna type in clean all now this will take some time after that you're gonna you shouldn't get that error it should uh, give you a percentage it'll go up it'll take some time after that you're gonna click you're gonna type in create partition primary align equals one zero two four create partition primary I believe the align equals 1024 is only for solid state after you do that again you should you shouldn't be getting these errors then you're gonna type in format FS FS equals NTFS press enter then you will type in assign letter assign letter equals M enter then you will type in active and then you will exit and exit again after that you can go ahead turn off your PC turn it back on and let it boot from the flash drive uh, I mean I found this online hopefully I saved you guys some time the reason I was getting those errors back at the command prompt is uh, because they the the system created a bunch of uh, partitions so uh, if you get those errors you want to exit go back and uh, when you get to the screen where you choose the hard drive you're gonna want to delete all those partitions and create it into one then exit out and then reboot back from the drive flash drive and uh, click then click on repair your computer and go through that procedure again and you should not get any errors hope this helps guys I noticed that once you uh, get on that page of installing Windows and it says that it needs to restart, you might go through this uh, loop of it constantly asking for it. Now if you have that issue, uh, what I did was I went into the BIOS, I changed the priority of the booting for the laptop's hard drive, I, made, I prioritized that as number one, and it still did it for me, so what I did was... Uh, Right when the computer starts up, I press F9 and I choose the OS boot manager. And then that way it gave me the option of continuing my installation. And now I'm on to completing my installation. Hope this helps.